What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a project that is officially launched on Kickstarter. That's right. We're going to be looking at the new Galactic Paradise playing cards by Christian Bayard of Relativity, as well as Tanner James of Ohana Casino. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The Galactic Playing Cards by Christian Bayard and Tanner James is officially launched on Kickstarter. That's right, this project is funding right now and they have a wonderful $3,000 goal and plenty of great add-ons such as a $5,000 stretch goal to get that crushed stock and a $7,000 stretch goal to do a gilded edition. Amongst the different add-ons that they're trying to bring to this project, you're going to see great things such as uncut sheets, poker chips, enamel pins, and many, many more great add-ons. The Galactic Paradise playing cards were brought to you by Christian Bayard of Relativity Playing Cards, as well as a collaborative effort between him and Tanner James of TJ Cards. Now, if you're not familiar with the two, uh, Christian is, you know, very well known for his Singularity decks that he put out, which were very popular. And then you had Tanner, who also put out a smaller run of his famous Ohana playing cards. Like I said, this project is based upon a fictional place in our galaxies where all species and beings can come together and put away their differences and deal the hand, aka, or tentacles you were dealt. Now, I do want to point out that this deck is in its prototype phase, so the finished product you're going to get from the official Kickstarter is subject to change, at least maybe a little. I'm not sure, depending on how that goes. With that said, the front of the tuck box, you're going to see Galactic Paradise there in that white font, brazing over that beautiful matte black tuck box that's soft to the touch. And then you're going to see that enlarged spade pip there in the top center, and it's going to be in a form of almost hieroglyphics or some sort of representation of an alien language. The left side of the tuck box is going to say designed by Tanner James and Christian Byard. The right side of the tuck box is going to say Galactic Council referendum with a serial number declares it its duty of every being to wage responsibility. The back design on the tuck box itself is going to have the back design of the deck with no tuck seal as of right now. And then the bottom of the tuck is going to also have some ad copy once the finished product is had. The top of the tuck box itself on the flap is going to say Galactic Paradise. And that's it for the tuck box. Let's look at the cards. The back design on the deck itself, you're going to see it's all black you're gonna also see those medium white poker borders as well as another thin white border going on the inside of that one you're gonna see they designed with the galactic paradise font that we saw on the tuck and then you're gonna see a hand-drawn cartoon image of a spacecraft ufo with some palm trees on the inside this deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their classic stock. That's right, it does have a traditional cut and an air cushion emboss. And this deck is right now live on Kickstarter. All right, so with this deck, you're going to receive some goodies. The first one is going to be a double backed card. The next one is going to be a cut card, which you've seen in a lot of casino decks and something they also use in the casinos. It's gonna be an all black card on both sides. The only imagery is gonna be of that spacecraft with the palm trees that we saw on the back design of the deck. The last two cards you're going to receive extra are going to be your duplicate and original jokers. It's gonna be that same spacecraft kind of beaming down to some dice that rolled that lucky seven. 
The pips and indices in this deck are going to look very recognizable, seeing as that they are in Arco fashion. That's right. There is also going to be some customization, but it's very minimal to say the least. As you can see, there's going to be one pip in each one of these cards that's going to be different, that kind of represent that same hieroglyphics that I spoke about, about the front of the tuck with that ace, and it's going to carry on throughout the rest of this deck as well. Same thing goes for the court cards as you can see they stripped out a lot of the coloring as far as the blacks and put in that green color and then when it came to the reds they took out the color and added in that nice bright yellow. But like I said nonetheless these are still your Arcos that you know and love making this deck great for magic, cardistry and gameplay. The aces in this deck are all decorative in the sense of all of the pips in the center have those same glyphics that we spoke about earlier and a lot of other little details. The ace of spades of course is the main attraction here. As you can see it's pretty much the same design that we saw on the front of the tuck with that enlarged spade pip this time in green with the same glyphics. Underneath it's going to say galactic paradise, tanner slash Kristen made on earth in the usa that's it for this deck join me now for my final thoughts all right so my final thoughts on this deck even though it's going to be kind of hard because it is a prototype really can't give you the gist of really how it feels and stuff like that um but i gotta say it feels amazing whatever you uh mpc is doing with their decks right now they weren't doing this a year ago. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Year, year and a half-ish. When I got my deck done, when I got my prototypes, they wasn't having this. I think they were just starting to roll it out. This new stock and stuff that they're using for the beta, oh, 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 it's amazing. That's all I gotta say. I would be, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Put me on record. I would be willing to put out a deck with MPC. That's how good these feel. These feel like USPC sometimes better so just saying but anyway we're not there this bad boy b plus give it a b plus um i love the arco faces i love it i love it i love it i love arco you've seen the orbits use arco they've used arco a lot of people have used arco faces um it's just a wonderful wonderful set of courts and fonts as far as the the pips and indices but i love that i love that they stripped everything down and kind of gave I like the, the, the gradients in the colors, right? So you have the black, they went with the green for the quartz. You have the red, they went with the yellow. I really like that. It kind of, it makes it pop. It's not the same color, so it doesn't get lost in the wash, right? That's what I like. I like how they did that, that kind of different colors, but they go together very well. That's one thing that I really like as, as well. Um... I love the black matte tuck box, of course. Anytime there's a matte tuck box, it just I, it just takes it to a whole nother level. Um, but yeah, it's great. So like I said, guys, check it out, man. This this project is already funded over 50%. Probably by the time I post this, it's probably going to already be funded. I mean, this deck is red hot right now. 50% funded in like an hour and a half, two hours. I mean, this thing is, yeah, don't miss out on these, I'm telling you. And the uh, retail price on these is about 13 US. You're getting them right now on Kickstarter for about 10, I believe it is. So you're getting a huge percentage off on these decks if you're getting them now. And you're not gonna get charged for 35 days because this is a 35 day campaign, I believe. Um, $3,000 goal, like I said, there's two big stretch goals. I'm sure many more that, are, that might pop up, who knows. Um, like I said, they're planning on hopefully doing uncut sheets, enamel pins, um, you know, stickers. I mean, they're doing, they're trying to do everything, you know, and I respect it. I like what they're doing, you know, poker chips, whatever. So hopefully we'll see it all happen, you know. But yeah, other than that, I got to say, guys, this is a definite, you got to go get these right now. I'll link everything down below where you guys can go ahead and go to that Kickstarter and go ahead and back for a couple decks, maybe a brick, maybe two. I don't know how you're feeling. You feeling it? I am. I'll be there. You better be there. So anyway, that's all I can say about this deck, guys. I do want to thank Tanner and Christian for allowing me to have this deck early so I could do the review for you. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.